Ah, Blessings Bridge Nation. When I do, you know that this is Top of the Bridge. Up and go. This is the voice that the voice of your favorite troublemaker, your boy Shells, alongside my general. What a problem, I <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Morning, 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 Bridge Nation. Yeah, man, we're DJ there. is in the building. Yeah, the DJ Ali, everything good. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, Bridge Nation, if you guys are wondering, Richie to the B, Richie Rich, Mr. Dubai, celebrated his Earth Strong again. <laughs> yeah. Over the, over the yeah. weekend, you know, the man, Shell Long need NYC. Looking forward to hear about that little more, because I know I'm supposed to have that global connection. So, you know, I'm looking forward to a DJ Rice like Guan. I want if I go on. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> but yeah, it's a good look. It's a good look. Um, it's a wet day. It's a wet Monday. You know what I mean? Uh, we know what happened. Why are the tell the truth? I never met so many weather reporters over the weekend. They're not professional, you know. Just like average Jamaicans <laughs> so feel like they know what they want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Just because the rain, they kind of delay. Everybody has said, what's time there? What's time I go? I want to say even a, a general goes far for say, yo, it's a conspiracy. Between, yeah, yeah, yeah. between the supermarkets and the government. <laughs> a, a, a lot of that is on social media yeah. and all over right now. Yeah. Tell you, you but know. you know, the, the rain fall. And like me say, um, the little, if, I, if I just the outer bands or whatever, the aftermath or whatever, but glad to say it was the direct hit. Call me and tell you in my yard. I'm afraid for my dog, them. Oh, my, oh last. <laughs> them tough it out still. But yeah, it was, it, it's motorists. Just want to tell you, please, just, just be careful on the road. Because right now, you don't know how the thing go. Pato's them in, in a disguise right now. Yeah. You know, people on them. Where's Arlie? Lot of rain. Lot of rain. No, um, for rain. The place flood out. I, I, I actually made uh, some calculations. And, well, to my to my, to my my surprise, yeah, my calculation was wrong. What that? Because, you know, um, Bridge Nation, I now timed this thing up. Yeah. And did laundry. <laughs> but, you know, my thing... You know, as I said it before, uh, my thing is to dry outside. You know, my like uh-huh. the, you know, sunlight and all of that. Yeah. So you wanna know I'll know that <laughs> them clothes. Yeah, so your timing wrong. <laughs> Yo, Gee, forget the wish where you live. A year place, it. a year place reinforced fussing. Listen up. Even a year place of Portland. Let me tell you. Alrighty then, here we go on Bridge Nation. It's time for update. Here we go on. We have, a, we have some very interesting ones. Um yeah, more yeah, start off with a story um with Tyler Perry. Right, you know, Tyler Perry is a man of my respect. You see me and say, just to see how far the man fought, the man is a billionaire, man using money and creating his own studio upon a, upon a lot that was once owned by people who owned slaves. Like, that's like a power move. You understand what I mean, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, there's been some interesting back and forth between him and Spike Lee, another person who me rated at the, in a, the, the, the film industry. Um, so apparently, Tyler Perry had a very interesting discussion about his popular character, Madea. And you know he responds to some past criticism that criticisms that he ex, you know experienced from Spike Lee himself. So at one point, Eva Tyler said that yo he always was on you know extremely uncomfortable playing Madea, but continued because the audience loved it so much. He went on to say he believes the character and series resonates with a lot of people because they know these women in these experiences and Uncle Joe and so on and so forth. Now Tyler even addressed Spike Lee's 2009 comments when he referred to Madea as. Coonery buffoonery. Whoo! Really? That's harsh. That's harsh. Really? Now, Tyler originally told Spike Lee that he can, you know, go to HE double hockey sticks, but now explains his reasoning behind the new, the now iconic character. There's a certain part of our society, especially black people in the culture, that they look down on certain things within the culture. Tyler explained For me, I love the movies that I've done because they are the people that I grew up with. And that I represent, and they, like my mother, would take me in the projects with her on the weekends. She played cards with these women. So, even though you know Spike Lee, not too like it. Look, I'm just think he's just a black man going with some gimmicks for in- entertain white people or whatever the case may be. Tyler make him know, say, yo, look, that come from a place of heart. That come from experience. I, mean, I don't know. Oh, you feel about my dear? Yeah, yeah, like. Let me first. Yeah. I like. I no yeah. problem with Madea. Yeah, per- personally. Yeah. No lie, Madea. Yeah. Cool. I, I no problem with Madea. I think no. we understand. We know we go in a Jamaica. We know the thing of Bridge Nation. We know go on like we don't know the thing of. You know, a man I dress up like woman and yeah, we know the thing. Of. We know, but uh, what are with them like a narrow-minded focus? There, isn't me? I said the, yeah. the movies were good, and you know, as we say, it was like a springboard to what the man has accomplished so far. Yeah, and, man. Um, Madea's character um, mm-hmm. can work. 
and it has it has worked yeah you know yeah. i mean i know there's there's some discussion uh, um in hollywood why why comedians especially when they do some series and thing why at some point they have to dress up as a woman i mean i know that part eh? i can't explain that because you know we see martin lawrence do it enough, enough legends do it a l- a l- enough a like chris lot. rock all of them do it at some point i don't know yeah, why but I don't feel fuck say when me see my dear. I mean, it took me a while for no say a Tyler Perry to do my dear still. Cause I, mean, I actually think it was an actual person. <laughs> now I go like, when me I grew up, me I say, yo, really now. Yeah. But big up yourself, Tyler Perry, and big up Spike Lee too. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he had some reasoning behind it, and I hope the two can, you know, work out that little issue and come together and you know unify the community. You know the thing go. Definitely. Now another thing want go on. Skeng. Good news this time. About a friend. Good news. Well, Skeng. Hey, boy. <laughs> Well, yeah, man, Skeng. You know, same about that tune I wrote earlier. You know this. My name is Little Miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tune up to the point where rap sensation, the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj, jump in and say, No, I'm going to do a remix. The remix get hot. And then no man here say, A hot video. Jump. Mm-hmm. Man, I got to see it. I said, Peace side. Really? You know what I mean? I said, Peace side. No man said, No, so I like what I say. Skeng look comfortable. Isn't it? Man, so Skeng like him in an element. Nikki look like she comfortable. I like it. So man, I, got, I hope people even see the video for Little Mix Remix. Little Miss Remix. Yeah, that's all that bars already. Yeah, check it out. The video dropped. I think I yesterday dropped. What? It's a good look. I hope I hope it's a, it's, it's a beginning of much more for Skeng. As I said, what I really love, we saw what Nikki's endorsement for Skilly, Crocodile Teeth, yeah. for Skilly. So. Was just gonna mention that, yeah, know, man. It's like um, Nikki going across the board, which is not bad. I mean, that's you what, know, you, you that's know, what queens Darcy, do, and that's the young Jenners. That's so what queens young do, Jenners. Eh? If you really meant it, that's what queens do. If you are the queen of rap, yep. you, you, you expand your kingdom into genres where she's always been about that. She do yeah. pop, she do rap, she do she not do gospel yet, but we'll see what happens when she get a little older. She do a collab with Tasha Cobbs. See there, you can't stop Nikki. So see there, Nicki Minaj, Skeng is a good look. Little Mix, Little Miss Remix. The video is out now, so they can check it out. Now, speaking of another queen. Yeah, the queen. A Caribbean queen. Kind of queen there, the, the Caribbean. The, the go, billionaire queen. The Bayesian, the national hero you or mean, heroine. You mean the um, Jamaican Bayesian? Yeah, when I get into that, we don't you know. Because when I get into that, we don't. We know she love Jamaica, yeah. but a bit, yeah. a bar bit, a bar bit. Well, me, 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 it's a part. We tried, we tried, but bar bit is bar bit is a whole on, and she love our, she love our country. But Riri, <laughs> man, with TV quite soon. Is no one is supposed to see it by now. Yeah, it's announced. Big things. Riri, Rihanna, will Big. be headlining. Big things. The Super Bowl Big. halftime show. Oh Big. my. Yes, Big. this is not a drill. This yeah. is real. A person who I haven't heard any music from in years. You know, she took the time out. She had a baby. No, before she had a baby. She started, she, she invested in her business, uh, turned a billionaire. Yes. Find a good man for suck down with. Yeah. And had a baby. Became a wait. Hold, 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 in the midst of that, became a national hero. National hero of her country. Yeah. Birth. It's telling us that she's ready to do some music. I don't know what to expect. Man, I'm going to lie, Bridge Nation. Oddly, when, me first, when I saw it, you know. I was like, alright, let me not rush this. Cause Riri, she full of gimmicks, you know. Remember, say a Caribbean she come from, you know. She full of style, you know. I thought Listen. when I saw the hand, her hand with the football. First of all, no people never know a fair hand, but you can't mistake Riri hand. That's the first thing. But me say, hmm. Oh, oh you know a Riri. Hand. A Riri hand. Yeah. Remember, say Riri was my one time. Mine. Oh, oh well. <laughs> alright. Okay. 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 All right. It's not nah, a page man, cause it's up on my cousin. My a long bad. story, a long story. We're not even getting into that right now. But uh, <laughs> no, bad. it's interesting because when I saw it, I first thought, all right, no, I'm not gonna jump to the conclusion and say Riri I go do the music or Super Bowl thing. Maybe she'll go do some clothing line what what inspired yeah. by the NFL. Mm-hmm. But then the NFL themselves in them bio, if you check them on Instagram, have Riri name, them tagar, and have halftime show night. So it real. Yeah man. I mm. I um I saw it. Um, it was announced. Yeah. On CNN. Woo! So it. It big man. Let me tell you. Hey, you know me love. Yeah. Me love how Rihanna did post it. Rihanna did put a caption. I say you know when you're starring, she just put the hand, or the picture, of her hand on the football, and that's a full stop. And, and I, uh, three million people like the sort of said no. And let me tell you something. Yeah. Not because. Um, well, yes, because uh, you know she's Caribbean. Mm-hmm. But I am going to tell you. That halftime show, I got come down. May I tell you? Because yeah, Twitter got crazy. Well, I know. Mm. Watch it, you know. Yeah. You, you, you just said it a while ago, you know. Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, man. Just watch and see who 
they're going to um, in the, um, actually inject uh, uh, ah, an in the performance. Thing. Ah, yeah. we right. So make we see, make we see. But it's a good look, Riri. I I tell you. Welcome back to the music scene. Mm. I don't know how them do it. I don't, don't know how them jar out, but we give thanks and we're looking forward to it. Money. <laughs> I mean, the paper. I guess that's a point. I mean, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, she's never done a halftime show for real. No, no, this is big. She yeah. has, no, she has never. Maybe she used this opportunity and drop an album at the same time. I don't know, Riri. Make question, huh? Drop, prop, drop, drop the fuck say you're married, you're secretly married and all these things. Hello. She can she can use this for the bugger things. We don't know. But we're excited. Big up yourself, Riri. But hold on, hold on. I want a Super Bowl final tomorrow. Ready, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the first me I got watch Super Bowl. I don't even want to go around here. No, but, no, no. You have to. No, Chels. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something about Super Bowl. Yeah. All right. If you're not even not into the game, after yeah, you have to watch it commercials uh-huh. commercial you know man you know about the story me hear about all that man yeah, thing, commercials man. Them no no I'm for you <laughs> let me tell you alright well that's all the stories we got for your Bridge Nation in, in update, update. alright so right now it's time for the proverb of the day alright alright this is going to be very interesting doing this one on my own alright Better for keep one puss than 50 musmus. Mm. Wow. Alright, here we go. My mind can go anywhere with that one. I'm gonna know. I have to be careful. <laughs> Better for keep one puss mm. than 50 musmus. Off the top of my head, laughing. <laughs> I better for keep. I better keep one woman than me. That's that's what that's where my mind went. I better we keep one woman than we have a bag out. That's yep. basically. That's how I feel. That's how you feel. Wait, what me say what it mean? It's better to keep one cat as a pet than fifty mice. I same thing. I I oh that's a translation. Okay, so the meaning is quality over quantity. Choose things of a high standard. Matters more than the amount of things you have. What? Ah, see there? One proper wife is better than 50. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> that is it. I like this one. So better for keep one post than 50 most most. Right. Quality over quantity. You're literally close. I was I know it. Or, or correct. I don't know if it was the post analogy. <laughs> It must have been the puss analogy. Uh-huh. Alright, right now. Yeah, you're pretty close. Right now we're going up to that pet peeve. Now, if you're not familiar with what pet peeves are, pet peeves are things that people do that annoy you, irritate you, or even frustrate you, you know the thing going. Today we have a nice pet peeve from one of our listeners. My pet peeve is, you know, when a woman said she forgive you, but yet still she still annoys you with the same thing over and over. That very annoying. That's a true. That's a true. You know, we're, 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 the, we're the pet peeve all the time, gents. We know the thing going. I'm always going to say this. As much as my love get trouble, there's always a loophole to that pet peeve. The woman said, my general, that she forgives you. She never said nothing about fish that she forget, my G. Like, you know, no. <laughs> We don't know why 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 men feel like say oh true woman forgive everything just copacetic everything good no no forgive and forget is no two different Y'all love some women out there said oh, the Lord forgive I don't <laughs> Take it to the Lord in prayer But I agree I agree to the point where you say you forgive, but when you keep on a bring, bring it up, it can be annoying. It can frustrate the gentleman. Depends on all what I'm doing to you now, Yeah, yeah, Depends yeah. on what I'm doing, okay? I don't know the thing going on, ladies. If I'm on the something more kind of out there, he might have more than one, most, most. What it is with? <laughs> he was forgiven, but um, she's not forgetting. She not, and them not going to forget. Remember that, they're men of Bridge Nation. Mm-hmm. They will never forget. Bridge Nation, it's very important to, to highlight that we have a nice interview with Danelia White. 
She's the CEO of the Danilo, Danilo White Organization. And she's in celebration of Sickle Cell Awareness Month, observed in September. And, you know, she, along with her team, engaged in a number of activities, including a blood drive, along with launching a podcast. I'm loving that. Titled Warriors Unite, The Untold Stories. Now, the final episode of the first season was released on Friday, September 23rd. And we're looking forward to having a nice reasoning with Danelia. Good morning, Danelia. How are you doing? Welcome to Up and Go. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you know what? We just see the picture, Danelia. Walk on. Walk on. You Look just there. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Everything good? Yeah, everything is good. I'm uh, okay. All right. We give thanks. Now, talk to us about the inspiration behind the podcast, Warriors Unite, the Untold Stories. I like where it's sewn already. So the inspiration behind it was really to create a space where we not just educate persons, but also advocate for persons or teach people how it is possible to advocate for other persons with sickle cell disease. Um, a lot of the times we, the truth is that you know everybody will, you know at least one person with sickle cell disease, but you don't know about the disease or the details of it. And so I thought the podcast would be a great avenue to kind of just teach people what it is that sickle cell really is and the realities of it. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Now, I know you know Dan- you know the truth behind host this whole podcasting. I know people want to start podcasting, you know, Daniela. You know the thing going on. Yeah. Was was it was was there were there any difficulties? How difficult was it to start this podcast? Um, honestly, it wasn't as difficult because I would have had a podcast before. So because okay. I have an experience with having a podcast before, I kind of knew what to do and how to get things started. So it was a little bit easier. Um, I think the issue this time for us is that we wanted to do a video um, aspect to it as well. And so we needed funding for that. Mm-hmm. Funding for sickle cell things are not very easy, but I partnered with a UK brand, my friend Jen, mm-hmm. who is also a sickle cell warrior and an advocate for the disease. Nice. And so her, our brand just came together and made it happen. Nice, nice. And that, you know, so I just got to talk this, so not even go around here. And we'll give thanks <laughs> for that. We'll give thanks. No, for real, man. Now, the final episode, as I mentioned, uh, of the first season was released on Friday, September 23rd. Yeah. Now, are you? would you say you're satisfied with, you know, how the podcast is doing? Do you think it's achieving what it, what, what you guys aimed for it to achieve in the first place? Honestly, yes and no. Mm. There's always room for more. Okay. Um, and so that would be my no. But yes, in terms of the fact that the, the persons who have been commenting and responding based on what it is that we've said so far, I really appreciate persons actually tuning in and learning something. If one person walks away with learning about sickle cell disease, that means that my mission would have been accomplished. So it's one more person knowing about the disease. For real, for uh, real. But as I said, there's always room for more. And the episode on Friday was actually the last half of the first season. So oh. we have another half to the first season coming up yeah. and hoping to have a nutritionist on board and all of that so we can learn about the nutritional aspects. I'm loving it. Disease. I'm loving it. Now, where where can we listen or you know watch the podcast? I know podcast visual nowadays. You know, it boasts it like that. So, where where can our audiences find the podcast? Well, you can find it on YouTube. It's also on Apple and Spotify. If it is that you go on YouTube and type in Warriors Unite, it will pop up and lead you directly to the page. Ah, give thanks, give thanks. Now, finally, Danelia, what is your hope or vision for sickle cell awareness and advocacy in Jamaica? My hope is that just like how we know about cancer and the, the advocacy that is surrounding cancer, my hope is that we'll give that same attention to sickle cell disease or a greater attention because the reality is, and I'm not taking away anything from another disease, but the reality is sickle cell disease, the persons who are fighting that disease, were born with it. It's not that we woke up one day and said, oh my gosh, I caught sickle cell disease. It's not something you catch. It's a genetic chronic illness. Chronic meaning you can't see it. It's very invisible, but it greatly affects us. Affects us health-wise. Some persons can't walk. And so I'd love for us to get to a place in Jamaica where when you say sickle cell disease, people are not guessing and spelling what it is, but they're quite aware of what exactly what it is and how they can be of assistance. 
Talk truth, man. Talk truth. From the, la- the last time you fought upon the show, you know, Daniela, I'm going to tell you, say, your work is very important. I will give thanks for this venture. And wish you all the best going forward, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, man. Our pleasure. Give thanks. All right, Bridge Nation. That was Daniela A. White, entertainment executive, published author, and a podcaster. She's doing it all in the name of bringing awareness to the disease known as sickle cell. Oddly, it's a good look, eh? Yeah. That is the that Danilia. Is the, I like what you said. Oh, big friend, you know? Yeah. I'm going the picture. I'm say, ah! Oh, yeah, come man. like a family reunion. It's a good look. Yeah, keep up the good work, Danilia. Yeah. Enough love and respect. And it's that time, Bridge Nation. Time for you guys to try to win that gift package in the secret, secret sound, sound game. game. All right, remember the numbers to dial. The number to dial is 876-676-4996. Let me bust a, a raga shanty and say it one more time. 876-676-4996. DJ Arley, please do me the favor. I met the people that made the song one more time. Last part, they always catch me in a little pang. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Jojo never give you no clue. Nope. So when you see me on the road, please, people, nobody cuss me. A Jojo fault. Only a select few you know, know the answer. Is. You know what it is, right? Okay. Lafayne All knows right. it. All Romy right. knows it. Me not a clue. I ain't not a clue. I'm a, me don't want to know it. Me don't want to know it. Remember, Bridge Nation, the number to dial, 876-676-4996. You win a nice gift package there. You see me? Maybe something that they end, up, they end up for the little rainy weather. We don't know. Personally, I feel like that's how I got to go. Till about Heroes Weekend time around there, so. Really? Yeah, man. It's tough. Mm. What you say, Hardy? All right. The thing about it, um, we had, um, we had callers, um, that. Who came close? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, Jody. It's the thing with Jojo origination. She loves some technicalities where it just, it just, it just. Una go, una go close, but una go so far at the same time. All right, so all right, go see how go on. So we have a call on the line. Good morning, caller. Welcome to the Secret Sound Game. Well, go on. Good morning. How are you? Ah, that's that voice I can't disguise. It sound like Talis. <laughs> Yes, it is. No, go on, no, go on. All right, Talis, my beg you turn. Oh, well, you know where I'm going, good. I'm going to well bungle up. My beg you turn down the radio then, I back down there. Talis. The radio? All right, yeah. I'm off. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, man. Yeah, man, give thanks. We're there, we're there. You all right? Yes, and as I was about to pick up you guys about the Bridge 99 FM Cup, I heard you guys talking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, big boy sitting over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, now yeah. I'm with Supreme Ventures. It's a good look. Thank no, you, Thomas. Uh, it's a good look, yeah. All right, so we could keep the good vibes going, huh? What's your answer? I think it's a vacuum cleaner. It's cleaning and then something going and, and, get, and, get, and, and get, that, that, that. Yeah, yeah, I know them wins. I have a vacuum cleaner because I don't know, say, you know, when a boss like that. But I know, I know that sound. I know that it makes sense. A vacuum cleaner. Cleaning. And then something go and gone in there. Makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. What? Tall is thinking. Tall is always a thing. Yeah. But Tall is no me, no. Yeah. Man, our favorite no, trouble. I'm going to this man. I'm going to say a weather. I'm going to say a weather. Achoo, so achoo. Achoo. All right, man, I'll give you a chance. All right. Mm-hmm. Bye. Quack, quack, quack. Yes, sir. Yeah, of course. I'm a job. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Respect, Tall. It's enough love. All right, so. All right, we have one more call on the line. Welcome, welcome to the Secret Sound Game. Morning. Hi, good morning. Who's this? Michelle from Radio. Hi, Michelle from Radio. What's, what's the weather like in Upper Radio? Uh, it's calm down only for right now, but it was heavy. Uh, heavy ah, uh, just make sure you stay safe. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, man, no problem. So, what's your answer? Is it somebody um grouting sometimes? Someone grouting sometimes. That's the word you use. Yeah, they're putting mm. growth on the tiles. I like how you know the terminology, come. I never know that name. i tell you the truth. <laughs> Good answer, you know? So they're laying the tiles, but they're putting growth. Yeah, I'm going know you talk about okay, no. I mean, I tell you, say, red is not far from the gift package. <laughs> but red is not far from this, neither. 
Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. respect Michelle, no flow. Alright, but tell you know, Heroes Weekend. Round that, round that week there. Eh? You think so? Yeah, man. Uh, People are confused. Unless we'll get to some clues, yeah. perhaps in a this week. When I think, when I think it's it rough, I'ma like it. They, they, they have an idea. They have an idea. Um, them close. I think. Them close. Uh, yeah. Them close. I like it, but uh, uh, like I said, the thing with JoJo and our crew them and our sound them, there's some technicality technicalities so that's not making no sense but let's see if this caller is any closer good morning caller welcome to the secret sound game morning, morning caller good morning hi good morning who's this this is carol hi carol how are you doing in the weather i'm um, doing good enough ah make sure you stay safe zine yeah you too thank you thank you all right so what's your what's your answer i think it's a concrete mixing and pouring into the bucket Concrete mixing. And pouring into the bucket. I'm being yeah. poured into the bucket. Mm-hmm. Carol, it's not like you have experience tonight, man. <laughs> not really. No, I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Eh? Ooh. We see somebody that said, Oh. We see, so, so the reaction is behind the glass. Somebody go, Oh. Mm. Anything you want to add to that, Carol? Oh, what should I add to? I don't me even know. know. Me know, but what's not know? <laughs> Ah, you know what? Maggie has something to add to it. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> good try, Carl. Good try. Good try. Okay. All right. Stay safe. Wow. Yeah. They're getting close. I think so. I don't know. Let me give them the, my touch off of the, the, um, the song again. Yeah, man. Let me hear the song one more time. You want to know? You yeah. want to know something? Yeah. You want to know what's, what's funny? Mm-hmm. We've been playing the sound, right? Yeah. I play the sound, right? And it's the first time I figure shells mm-hmm. that I know what this is. It's the strangest thing. A lie. It's the strangest thing, you know. Why? It is British. Let me tell you something. Two bodies can't enter here, love. What's it go? Let me take my figure this thing out. Let, come on, British Nation. <laughs> Listen to the sound carefully. And let me tell you. Well, you know what it is. Well, you know, say it like it's a tomorrow thing, that British Nation. Yes, yeah, right. You know who is a real soldier fight the fight right now is my brother, Robo Ranks. Robo! Yes, sir. That Good is morning, it. my bro. Well, go on. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Well, I, I, I'm going to squeak it. I'm going to I'm squeak. <laughs> It just <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was ready, but damn. We're not we're not here, Robo. We're good. It's good. I'm, I'm I you know I've, I've been looking for a sound effect like <laughs> one of those sound effects that you can play on radio. I think I think I'll find it. <laughs> Cheer, I squeak. Yeah, yeah good morning, um uh Bridge Nation. Uh good morning UK. Mm-hmm. Uh beat one oh three six up and go. We are in London this afternoon. Yeah, a man. very, very mild and I, I only can describe it as a very back to normalish mm. Monday. It's Wait. one of those back to normalish Monday. Why you said that? Uh, polit- politics is on the agenda. Ooh. No football. People uh. crying their eyes out. Strikes <laughs> are about to happen. What you say? It's a very. It's just one of those Mondays. Yeah, really? it's just yeah. like you make it sound so average. It, you make it, it sound normal, you know Robo. Do you know what? what? What I'm hoping for is by the time we are off air, that mm-hmm. your day won't be average. It'll be more than <laughs> average. That is. The plot is to make sure by the time you finish listening to Up and Go with us, that yeah. the plot is that the day becomes more than just an average day. But so far, <laughs> I can say it's a very average afternoon for me. Well, very average. Well, it's a cold. I know, all right, I'll be careful when I say cold when comparing to the UK. But it's 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 one of those. It's a wet morning because you know we had that little tropical storm scare. I guess you can yeah, call it that. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw it um, well, I, breezing across. Yeah, Robo, you know how it is with Jamaicans when it, when when the rain fall on time. Everybody starts. Where storm I go? Where the storm there? <laughs> that polit- a politics. The storm in a politics. I work with you, the you, government and supermarket. Know, you know, one of the things is like you know, you know, you have that saying about us English people being mad. Yeah, but all right. <laughs> yeah, I accept it. But one thing I can say: Jamaican yeah. people and rain. Mm-hmm. Like it's like the whole place. It just it works different. <laughs> you, you, you're about to do something. Can't go rain a fire. Can't go rain a fire. 
any plan you have. <laughs> Can't do that. My car's going to get wet. Yeah, but it's a car. You can wash it off. No, I just watched it last week. Yeah. Rain or fall. Everything stopped. Everything get Everything, everything get put, put off. off. Yeah. So, yeah, English people are mad and they like tea. But <laughs> Uno and Rain? Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. That's a good That's got, a good point. Yeah. That's a good point, <laughs> we have, Robo. We have, we have a, a, what do you call it, a, a climate issue coming up. And you, mm. you guys still, you still worrying about rain? <laughs> you got volcanoes to worry about. <laughs> and hurricanes and, and all these things that will be coming Boy. our way. Because the people now treat mother the right way. Well, you know what I'm going to say, though? I don't know what is it what is it about Jamaica and our, and our we call them prayer warrior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but some serious prayer put on because I don't know how at the last minute Ian just saying, I'm going to go a little further west and not hit yeah. as hard as I should. I don't know. Yeah. I think the prayer warrior, warriors all went to Isle of Soka. Because ah. <laughs> that makes sense. Because right after Yo. Isle of Soka, don't you know, Robo, rain. I don't Listen, know. I, saw, I said this to you. I said this to you last week when mm-hmm. the uh, when when uh, your 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 Majesty guy, and for me when yeah. the 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 for them something was about to yeah. go down. The day was just it's gloomy. Yeah, I remember. Over, it, it just looked like yo, it's gonna any minute now. You guys are gonna get drenched. So don't even try it. Yeah. Soon as she was laid, sun was popping it was back mm. like wow. it was that it was that what they call indian summer we're having here in the uk <laughs> so i don't know wow. maybe the play that maybe the prayer warriors were working also over time and right no more to understand bridge nation that vegan restaurants and the vegan lifestyle are becoming increasingly popular but not many vegan chefs have thought to create a fully fledged online service for customers throughout the pandemic mm-hmm. So for Kushites Vegetable v- Cuisine owners, that's Kush Lee Creary and partner Keisha McDonald, the decision was a natural one, you know. I saw what they did there, a natural one, that's good. According to the couple and business partners, this is due to their company thriving off innovation, that is it. Now according to the couple, the online platform allows them to expand into these other areas without the distraction of creating a daily menu for a sit-down restaurant. They have credited the move with stimulating our creativity. And this decision has led to the creation of additional products. Now, Kushite's Vegetable Cuisine's products currently include local herbs and blends, a detox program, catering services, nutrition coaching, and weight loss programs. Not to mention meals that are customer favorites, such as their vegan cheesecake, spelt bread, and soy-free tofu. I'm ready. I like what's going on here. So joining me is none other than Keisha McDonald. One of the owners of Kushite's Vegetable Cuisine. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, good morning. Thank uh, you for having me. It's our a pleasure. pleasure. No, no, our pleasure. I'm going to answer, man. Greetings, greetings, and give thanks. Now, right off the bat, you know, I'm curious. Tell, tell me a little bit about Kushite's Vegetable Cuisine. How it even got started? Well, it really got started by us following the simple creed, which is, when you see when you desire something in the universe and you don't see it around you it's your job to create it that's your calling the very Mm. desire of it is the calling on your life so we wanted to have an experience that reflected what we desired in a fine dining ital vegan fully plant-based cuisine Mm. and we looked around and we couldn't find it of course, you know, ital food is not new to Jamaica and vegan food is not new to Jamaica. Enough people rebrand it and call it different things. But we know that our culture with Rastafari, we know that it's not a new thing. However, what, what we did to revolutionize the space was to create a full um, dining, fine dining experience from top to bottom, starter, dessert, main everything mm. which is what we wanted to experience in jamaica and we decided to create it wow wow we give thanks for that no why, why the name kushite though i'm curious what's the meaning behind the name <laughs> <laughs> because it's 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 really an honor to the ancient people of ethiopia mm. kush is the ancient name for ethiopia and kushites were its ancient inhabitants kushites were was one of the first people to inhabit and rule even ancient kemet ancient egypt and for us, because we are presenting um, the image and culture of our ancestors, our African ancestors, in the highest form, in the most royal form, we felt that we are doing this through food. And we wanted to pay homage to our ancestors through food. So hence, 
kushai. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Cause you know, you know when a Jamaican you know, Keisha, you know the the, the kush thing, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I'm grateful for for that for that for, for that um for that explanation. Now, I go tell you the truth, Keisha. I'm a, I'm a stubborn person when it comes to the the, the vegetable and the thing. Them, and I go lie. You see me? I'm not gonna lie. You know, no no vegan restaurant try. You see me? No chef try with me. I am curious. What what makes Kushite so different from other vegan restaurants? Well, well, first of all, we're, we, we, if you pay close attention, we, we are specifically calling ourselves vegetable cuisine for a reason. Mm-hmm. Because we, we, the only different from, difference between us and the, rest, the regular restaurants that you may love is that our cuisine is made from plants. Mm. So we focus on flavor, we focus on color, we focus on uh, presentation. We focus on infusing cultures from all over. So we have dishes from Mexico. We have West African dishes. We have Brazilian dishes. We have dishes from everywhere. Mm. So we really focus on flavor. Um, we, we, we utilize the foundational principles of Rastafari Aita cuisine. Mm. However, we have incorporated it with our skill and experience with international cuisine. And so it makes our food exceptionally delicious, nutritious, and satisfying. Ah, I love that. I love that. Now, I have to ask this question. I know you must have the answer for us. What are the benefits of a vegan diet? And is it sustainable in a time time? Because, you know, people try it, and then after two months, it's like, eh, help me, Lord. You know, is it, sus- <laughs> <laughs> is it sustainable? Um, it is very sustainable. It is the most sustainable diet mm-hmm. because... Um, you see, most of what we eat and most of what we think and we define as food is not because it's food. It's because of social conditioning mm. and because of marketing and commercialization. People, things like pigs, chickens, these are commercial animals. Uh. If you study the history of food, these, these, these animals were man-made. They're mm. specifically raised. Chicken right now is specifically raised mm-hmm. for consumption. It's not like an animal in the wild. Right. So, so this affects our ecosystem. A lot of our rivers and, and, and water sources are polluted because of animal farms, because of the, 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 the um, secretions from the slaughtering, etc. Mm. gets into our water supply. So that's absolutely not sustainable. Wow. Plants, on the other hand, grow from dirt, mm-hmm. grow from trees. So if, if, if we really think about it in the, in the context of sustainability, there can be no, other, no better way to sustain the environment and human health than to eat what grows naturally, wow. eat what grows wild, eat what is in, grows in harmony with humans. Mm. And we know, let us talk about the health. It is a well-known fact, I would think, even though the fact may not be accepted, but it's a well-known fact that a diet rich in fruit and plants is not only prevents disease, but reverses it in many cases. Mm-hmm. Because we are organic beings and our body connects with organic food. And the most organic food on the planet is that which grows from the tree, not something that you have to raise mm-hmm. or put in a cage. That, and slaughter, when you slaughter it, the animal goes through trauma, the animal goes through fear, mm-hmm. and then you, when you absorb it, you absorb that fear, that, that trauma. That energy. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it's sustainable on all levels. So what is What people have a challenge sustaining mm-hmm. is their mind. Mm-hmm. Because people think, oh, but we can't just eat bush. We <laughs> can't just eat that. Why not? Who taught you that this is food? Who taught you that scavengers in the sea is food? Hmm. You know, Kush call them sea roach. Yeah. But who taught you that this is food? The people who want to sell them. Hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. So we have to change our mindset. And that is the real challenge. Not the sustainability. Not the affordability. Because food grows from dirt. And everybody has access to dirt. Hmm. Right? It's yeah. our concept of what food is and how we should be eating. Wow. You know, some never meant it like that. Yeah, thank you so much for that. No, <laughs> like, now, the location. You, you, you have both a physical location and an online location as well. The right? thing is, we mm-hmm. have a physical location, but we don't offer. It's almost like 
we treat it like a, a plant, a manufacturing plant. Oh. So we don't offer pickups, we don't offer dining at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's strictly we offer a catering service. You can hire the, the personal chef through Kush, um, through through Kushite, sorry, and then you'll get Kush for a day, an hour, a few hours, whatever okay. it is that you desire. Okay. We do meal plans. We do consultation for people who want a little bit more hands-on, want a little bit more tailored approach to their dad. Mm -hmm. People are struggling with different things, fibroids, diabetes, cancer, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we do plan for those persons, even persons who just want to see specific results in the gym. Uh -huh. So a lot of men come to us because they want to be plant-based, but they want to bulk up. They want mm -hmm. more energy. So we do stuff like that. So that is why it's so important that we now have our online platform where people can get a personalized one-on-one -on -one experience as opposed to when you come to the restaurant you have a menu before you and you select the menu now the experience is personalized it's tailored to you mm. and a lot of people have been responding very well to it ah, i'm loving that i'm loving that so tell us uh where, where can we find the online platform so it's kushites vegetable cuisine on on social on instagram and facebook and it's Kushite's Veg Cuisine on TikTok. You can also email us directly, thecateringkushites at gmail.com. Thecateringkushites, all one word, at gmail.com. Or you can send us a WhatsApp, 876-375-0642. We will respond to you as soon as possible. We need at least a one or two days leave time because everything is custom made everything is done to order we're not bait no bread and put it down no days yeah we're not we're not make no yati and put it down for stale or put it in a fridge it's true. when you order that is when it's made fresh mm -hmm. so you need to give us some lead time one or two days is best right and mm -hmm. then it will be delivered to your door i'm loving that keisha we give thanks you know it's a good look it's a good look kusha it's vegetable cuisine you know, big up Kush too, you know. Come and know him there's somewhere hard at work, you know. Big him up. Please. Very sometimes. hard at work. Very <laughs> hard at work. <laughs> all right. Give thanks and have a good day. All right. Stay safe. All right. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, man. All right. So that was Keisha McDonald, co-owner of Kushite's Vegetable Cuisine. Link them up today, Bridge Nation. You want a clean plate. You need a nice, you need nice food in your body. Yes, shells, you sound like a hypocrite. I'm working on it, laugh. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Is it an iry morning on the bridge right now? Irie Morning, it's Irie Jam Radio. Let me say it officially. Irie Morning! All right, let's see if they can hear me. We there, man. Morning. Hold on, man. Hold on. Morning, Hold gentlemen. Morning, sir. Where are you with? <laughs> Listen, this is what we do for a living, man. I was this about to say. This is how we pay the mortgage. This is how we buy pampas. This is how we put gas in the car. This yeah. is what we do. We don't really know nothing else enough. This is what wow. we do. And before I get into last night's fiesta. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let me ask a question. I asked Trini and Trini strayed away from it. Mm -hmm. All right. And now that I have shells on, oh and oddly, oddly, you can give me um, your take also. Now, this morning I woke up, I'm in an instrumental mood. So I'm playing, you know, Bob instrumental, Dennis instrumental, and I'm playing mm -hmm. Should I? Should I have faith in you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I put my trust, trust in, in you? you? Yeah. Now there's a part in the song, and I asked Trini the question. If Dennis Brown had sung this song in 2022, would it get the same reception? And here's the part, and I'm asking you, Shells, All right. as Generation right. I know, next, hey, right. I'm I know where you're going. I know you know where you're going right. with so this, let, right. let me sing the part, and then tell me, all right? All right. So I'm going to ask Shells as Next Generation, all right. and then I'm going to ask Oddly as, <laughs> you know, Billy Cole and Oddly still, but, you know, him close. All right. All right. All right. So he has a part in the song, Acting like a, a child, child so young, young and, and gay. Me know, me know. Oh, yes. I knew it. Yeah. So my question <laughs> is, if Dennis, the crown prince of <laughs> reggae music, did yeah. mm -hmm. this song in, I mean, it was 2022, any 2000 uh. <laughs> yeah, would it have gotten the same reception? Uh. <laughs> uh. First. He, he would. But you from, think so? But from which community? Okay. That's okay. It's, a, it's it's yeah, I think I think I think it's very sensitive times. But right. I feel like big tune a big tune same way. It, right. But I feel like No, no, no. It would it would I get crown prince or not. It yeah, man. Them same. yeah, man. Cuz you know that generation and a really response for royalty and sir. If you say okay. something about why <laughs> or what them right. think why? Yeah. But Hardly. Your thoughts. It would have listen, right. Same response. 
big okay. artist, a big artist. So, so big let me tune, ask a big question tune. Then. You, you, but, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But the, you, you, you would definitely have mm-hmm. the critics. Okay. People are going to talk. It's so, going to stir up a crowd, yeah. Yeah. If Chris Martin covered the song, do you think he would change that line? Yes. Him cover? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Me not ask. Me know that. Me know it because Chris know the Schweppes. Me know. <laughs> me, me know. Me know maybe exactly. Not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Listen. Listen. The song, <laughs> Roy can attest. Listen. The song is a classic. A big tune. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I won't deny that. And we, it we, 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 pay, we, we pay enough respect to Dennis. But may I tell you? Wow. If they're going to wow. redo it for today. Certain things just have to. Oh, what's the shit. meaning? Uh, I mean, Chris, we know what mean. We know the meaning, Chris, but you know the thing. meaning. Woke, woke is not just here in America. Woke is in Jamaica too. <laughs> 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 the, the word woke also stands for certain things that Jamaicans won't do anymore. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we used to say here that we don't say anymore because yeah. this whole woke movement. Mm-hmm. So Jamaica for them woke moment, and I think that's one of those woke moments where they might just change the words right there yeah. for that song. I just, I just have that vibe. That's inter- that's a very interesting question, though, right? But uh, I, I, I just want to add, though, I do. Mm-hmm. I, I think the reason why if that Dennis did do play and then I mm-hmm. dance or anything still get forward because as you guys are rightfully saying, at the at the Prince that them now go prince. and it make it a time where. You know, Jamaican. Yeah. We know the meaning. We know the real meaning, happiness and all of that. But right, sensi- exactly. sensitive times right now. And, and yeah. Chris, if Chris Martin is supposed to redo it, he know the shrubs, as I say. He might go, go be creative with it and find Don't a way right. to pay respect yeah. and yeah. suit the generation yeah. that's happening Don't right you. now. You think he's not changing? Don't change it. Gentlemen, last <laughs> night, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy! Uh, night. No. First of all, if you if you look if you're looking at the screen, you notice my computer. I'm using my new computer, which I've had for probably like a year now, and I've never used it because oh, no. I use the one that I have DJ rap on it. For some reason, my computer was bugging last night. Mm. Really? But yeah, I, I just don't understand it. You know, oh, it's no. been bugging, and I I have three, and this one I've I've never used. Mm-hmm. But I always back up, back up, back up, even though I don't have anything from 2022 on it. Yeah. But I still can't I can't juggle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. man. So um, last night. First of all, congratulations to my brother Richie B. Straight. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Great event. Great event. Well attended. First of all, we have a, we have a man shortage. I don't like to say it because I just played <laughs> acting like a child. I, I have a man problem in America. Yeah. Women outnumber men as usual, probably about five to one. Wow. Uh, and of course, you know, wow. this is Richie B's fan base, you know, because of the voice. Yeah. <laughs> but he also uh, was given a a citation mm-hmm. from the city mm-hmm. of New York for the work he has been yep. doing both at home and abroad. Yeah, so man. congratulations for to him. Yep. And, right. and, you know, uh, big up bridging. People came down from Canada. You, you know, Imaz, I talked to the, 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 the truck driver, the, 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 what do you call him? The guy who was up on the road of Canada. Oh, he flew oh, down wow. and his family flew in for Traffic it. man. Yeah, traffic man, traffic exactly. Man he wow. flew, yeah, he flew in for it. So many people came into town from Boston, from Washington, D.C., from Miami, from Fort Lauderdale, from West Palm Beach, from Virginia, and, of course, the, the surrounding tri-state area to be a part of Richie B's birthday celebration. So, wow. again, Bridget, big respect. Uh, big respect to all those that got their awards. Uh, Dub Master Chris, Richie Poole, Glamour Wayne, and yours truly. Yeah, yeah big, side, big, hey, big up to you, right? Yeah, man, it's a good look. Yeah, it's a good look. Yeah. Humble, never, really, really humble. We never see much picture and video still, but you don't know. Maybe yeah. whatever. Wait, wait, you, <laughs> see, you, you see, no, that, that's, that, that's all you know. Remember, Tess says I'm a mature crowd, not an old uh, crowd. I'm a mature crowd because yeah. the young people in whether they're on selfies, Instagram selfies. live, yeah, yeah. Okay. this live, and that live, and do it, you know. Uh, we, we, we were just enjoying the party and the vibes. That's right. So okay. most people didn't have their phones up, but you're going to see a, quite a few pictures <laughs> uh, showing up on social media today. Because you know, so them people have to get them rest. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's true. That's true. So, so later on, mature crowd. <laughs> <things are gonna> <laughs>